Decided to bring you guys a little video. And today we're gonna be setting up this massive Samsung subwoofer and soundbar. I hope this works. I'm not even entirely sure if it's gonna work for my PlayStation, Rain. but it should because the PlayStation should uh, recognize this speaker. So this is the old one. This is the old subwoofer right here, which is like small, you know, it's coming to Juliet, right? This is the new one. It's gonna sound like a movie theater in Bro, here. Bro, this is gonna sound the same. Look at that size difference. Look at that size difference right oh, there. Oh dang. It's your remote right here. That is so cool. Let me see. It's got, you can kind of sound mode, tone control, pair it. Pause, that's, that's cool. All right guys, sorry about the exposure. It keeps changing different exposures, but now we're moving on to the speaker. Uh, the sound bar, we pulled it out. There's buttons on it. Uh, buttons on the top of it. Bam, there's a sound bar. We're gonna figure out a place for this because I don't really know where to put it. All right guys. So, uh, we are now gonna set up the uh, speaker. So as you see the issue here, um, the issue is that the TV is pretty much at the edge of the desk right now. And Julie, get the sound bar. All right guys, so as you can see, we have the speaker right there. Now you may be thinking, oh, it's cutting off the majority of the TV. Well, it's really not that much actually. I measured it and it's just about maybe a half an inch above the bezel, the bottom bezel of the TV. So it's looking good right there which I put the subwoofer here because you want it near a corner so the sound gets off the wall kind of. So we're gonna keep it here. All right guys, so we got the sound bar up as you guys can hear. We're loading into Fortnite right now and we're in game mode, which the sound is different. It's a little bit less bassy in a way. But here, if I change it to standard, you guys will hear the difference. It's kind of like a quieter, you know, just standard sound. And then you turn surround sound on. With surround sound, you can't really hear the differences unless you're in a, in a movie. But, but so far, uh, very easy. We had to use the digital input cable though. Overall, I think the soundbar is, is a success and it's working well. Um, sorry about this cold camera angles and everything. I'm filming on my phone. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed, if it helps you out and you guys want to go check out one of these, uh, you know, get one of these soundbars, I mean, definitely recommend Samsung. I've had a Samsung before. We have one downstairs in the downstairs TV, I believe, or Vizio. But Samsung or Vizio works well. And this does work with the PlayStation if you use the digital input. It's a little random video for you guys, so check it out. All right, 